I'm Adrian, and I'm an intern with Ant Eater TV. And in this video, I will be interviewing a few of UCI's very own student short film directors who got nominated to be in the ARPA International Film Festival. So let's see what they had to say. My name is Angel Ochoa. Um, I graduated from UCI last year. So I'm Dylan Quintero. Um... I just graduated from UC Irvine. My name is Larry Tang. I am a aspiring director of photography. My name is Louis Lee, and I'm a filmmaker, and I like to make films. Can you briefly tell us about the film without giving too much away? So this film is about an underdog poker player named Charlie, who's up against this famous Elite Four member poker man, Ashley, who is now winning against Charlie in all the stakes. The odds are against Charlie, but will he overcome those odds? Is it either game on or game over? Who knows? You better watch. <laughs> this couple tries to figure out whether or not they should break up. Um, but as they're trying to figure out whether or not they break up, the world around them starts breaking. <laughs> it's hard to explain what it is without watching it, but um, it very much is that without giving it too much away. <laughs> the rowing dock was is essentially a look into a West Coast rowing team. Rowing is traditionally a very East Coast sport and it's very East Coast centric. You realize that it really is kind of a grassroots and more of a grassroots thing here on the West Coast. It's nice to see how seriously and professionally uh, UCI takes this sport and it's crazy the amount of dedication that they put into it. The film is about basically my grandpa who in this theoretical future where my grandma passes away, um, how life would be for him like only a couple weeks after that, right? What challenges did you encounter during the film process? It doesn't seem like on the surface it seems fun like filming on a boat, filming on a car. Filming on a but it's extremely difficult. So what we were on is we had these like, essentially these floating platforms. You're standing slash sitting on a bench that's strapped to a motor. We're on essentially the ocean, not really like we're in a bay, but there's still waves and undulations in the water. Shooting out a boat ends up being a huge challenge between what audio, getting a stable shot. So what we ended up doing, and also not getting your camera wet because seawater and cameras is a bad combination. What made you decide to pursue this film and did anyone inspire you? Again, the reason why I kind of pursued it was because I wanted to do something that I hadn't really seen in the films I saw at UCI and even the films that I made at UCI. It was a challenge for myself too because I felt like before I made this that it was impossible to, do, to, to make something like this um, in school. I felt very much like I had to kind of constrain it. I had to kind of like figure out ways to make it simpler or just tackle a simpler idea um, for budgetary reasons, for time reasons, for a lot of different reasons. But I kind of felt like I couldn't graduate without attempting to do something that felt very much like what I wanted to do in the future. Were there any other fun parts of the film process? Yeah, well, you know, the scene at the end where my grandpa and I are sitting and eating, but there was like actually lots of dialogue that took place where it was like just kind of like small talk about the food, but there was also a take where I brought up, you know, my grandma passing and like I brought it up out of nowhere. I don't think my grandpa was expecting it. And like, it was a really, weird moment it was it, it was like very emotional because like we i think i realized that that's a conversation we might have one day that moment and kind of shooting that scene and shooting the whole film in general was like a really good bonding experience too because um we knew what the film was about and we knew that it was something that hit close to home and we knew it's something that we're probably going to watch a long time from now yeah what was it like working with your team and your actors I'm coming from a sports back background where you know we all believe in you know great effort comes from like great attitude so you know and it makes sense so I 
team was really, really great and, you know, very, very collaborative, especially the cast. I, you know, I would tell them this very specific, like, movement. We have them do the moves at half speed while we, because we can catch, you know, we can see them doing the moves at the same time, and then we just speed it up or do the speed ramps on post. How did this project impact your growth as a filmmaker? What are you most proud of from it? It gave me the confidence to know yeah, I can do this and I can produce things at this level. And also, funny enough, it played into my decision to switch into public media studies. So I was an electrical engineering major for two years. Um, yeah. Uh, and I switched just this quarter to focus on film full time. I was scared of making a film with a, like a crew that I picked out with a script I wrote <laughs> that I was directing and I was editing. What I learned was like, okay, I, I do have the ability to do this. I think it was all, like the biggest learning experience was just like, again, just overcoming that like self doubt that a lot of us have. Um, this project was like more like a, a culmination of all the skills I've, I've learned within the, the past years in, in college. Like one is like, well, being director, you need to have a good sense of communication, but also like how to communicate your ideas with other collaborators and if you're open to the suggestions and when I started I started like teaching myself from sound design you know music because I love music and editing and post-production and then you put it all together and then also directing everything you know, converges into one and that and that's our jobs. After having your film be nominated for UCI's ZotFest and now having it be nominated for the ARPA International Film Festival, <laughs> how do you feel? It's like probably the best feeling ever to do something that you love doing and for people to actually say that they like it and to actually feel proud of it. Um, Obviously, I owe it all to Alan, I owe it to Nick, I owe it to Henry, I owe it to my grandparents. And we all like put something together that was really cool and really special. I, I feel good. Like, <laughs> um, I don't feel any, like, if the if film got accepted to film festival is great. If it didn't, I would still probably feel the same way. Um, so like, it's, that was probably the weirdest thing too, to kind of experience is kind of like, yeah, like it's awesome that we're in, but like it hasn't really changed my mind or anything. Kind of like a uh, cherry on top of like a, a cake or something, or whatever to say this. I think when I got the nomination for ARPA was when it set in. For Zothfest, it was like, oh, wow. And I guess I was surprised that I, the first project that I did as a sophomore was selected, which was, I guess, looking back at it kind of crazy to think about. Somebody from the ARPA team reached out to me to submit. And that was when I was like, okay, that's kind of big. And when I got the, when I got the word that I had gotten in, I was like, dang, that's amazing. And yeah, no, that was about the time where I like was still debating whether or not I should switch. And that kind of tipped me over. So like, okay, yeah, let's do it, let's switch the film. Oh wow, I mean, this is like one of those few opportunities to have like one of your films to be uh, not just in Zonfest but in other like um, film festivals because one is also helps with like exposure, not just me but like the people also, who also worked on this film and you know, and I'm really um, happy about um, the program and, and it's really you know, when, you know when you do a slam dunk in, in basketball? Yeah, that's how I, that's how, how I compared it to.